So let me speak about my thing, right? It's like, so when you date a younger woman, you have an option right now. You can either destroy her. <laughs> no, when I say destroy her, so emotionally, I mean, like, emotionally, emotionally destroy, you can ruin her. See, when we when we talk about the girls that in the, it, they st- they they don't look at us when we're young and they start dating the older men. Mm. That's at that stage, right? She's not looking at the guys that age dating an older man now. Now it's up to you what you do with this. You could destroy this girl, or you could be everything that what a good man is supposed to be. Now, now. If I'm everything that's a good man supposed to be, she's not going to come out with the same trauma of other women and potentially it could do really well. Mm-hmm. And all the other reasons why not because someone's young and all the other stuff. But my thing is this, I wouldn't do that to someone young. I wouldn't go out there and try to destroy them because that's only going to perpetuate the thing. If mm-hmm. I'm dating you and you're younger and it wasn't something that I intended to do, I'm going to now as, as, uh, uh, assume the role as, as the uncle. You know, the big man. Because really and truly, the, look, at, look at this guy. When I say uncle, you know the, the guys with money? This guy, mm-hmm. look at him. But the reason why I say <laughs> the reason why I say this is because at that point, what are you gonna do if you've got someone that's younger, you need to be looking after her. You need to be showing her the reason why she's dating someone that's older versus mm. someone her age, right? Or you could do that stuff where you destroy her now and you're gonna just carry on what what the cycle. When they, you know, got run through the, the Tyrones and Jeromes and that. So mm. you become one of those guys and essentially but Tyrones, but, Jeromes and Chinas. Yeah, no, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, and that's my thing. So yes, can it work? Of course it can work. But a lot of, you know, like my my parents is the age gap, a lot of people, but I think it tends to be in this Western world where they seem to make a big issue about it because they're trying to make it fair. And this is the thing, life is not fair. Women just, women, see, if you decide to to not use your your prime years, your 18 to 28, and you're still out in your 30s, now you're directly in competition with the, with the women else, in their 20s, yeah. but the same men. But the problem is men have always you know, look like younger women, just the way it is. If you go look on dating apps, go and look at what men yeah. pick automatically. You, you know, sorry, go off. Yeah, it's, flow, it, it's just the way it is. And women have always liked, um, you know, provision and certain mm. things. So it's like trying to tell a man what not not to find attractive. You know why that is though? Not, not what to find attractive. That's because sometimes, yeah, majority of women your age will be settled down. Yeah, so they're outside. They are outside. Talking about here, they're, what do you mean? They're no, out. Well, when you're oh, talking in your late thirties, yeah, you sh- <laughs> you sh- are festival and that. You're just promoting right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, most of them will be settled down, yeah? yeah, or their tolerance levels for bullshit yeah. is so small yeah. now, yeah. You've got like half a fuck up in you, yeah, <laughs> yeah before you're out and oh, you don't even know, oh, I, yeah. So the reason why sometimes guys go for young girls is a because. You don't want what's oh, left. On, you don't want what's cap. left on the shelf. Right. Uh, there's too much cap. 